Yes, well, Ay, Lindita ay. from Lindita's <laughs> Kitchen is with us this morning, taking me back to the way I grew up. It's traditions, family, and a lot of good food. Lindita, so good to have you here on Cinco de Mayo. How I are know. you? You know what? I am so excited to be here. It's I been can a while. Tell. I know, I know. <laughs> and you know, of course, you know, it's all about food. You uh -huh. know, and, and not just that, you know, having a, my Lindita's Kitchen, um, actually Aurora TV, I want to give them a, a shout out. Um, okay. I'm out there monthly, and mm -hmm. it's also on 880 as well. So Got you it. can get a lot of my recipes, and I cook it up in the kitchen. Well, I let me just time. say, this beautiful woman right here can cook, okay? She's got me mouth-watering over here. So let's talk about some of this food because it's a huge part of your background. What do you like to cook? You know what? It's really hard to say because uh, I yeah. have a, a beautiful family that they love everything oh. that I make. And so, you know, we just want to keep our traditions alive. Mm -hmm. My mother said before, Diazito, you know, she's up in heaven, but mm -hmm. she wanted me to just showcase all our recipes to keep our culture alive. Right. And, you know, I do that in my family my daughter-in-laws are wonderful they're learning our traditional ways and you know for you for our viewers for you know people that don't know they can you know come back and get our traditional ways like yes. you know caldo de res you know frijoles, oh, caldo you know, de res you yes know, you know it's arroz so, con pollo, you know, those so. are all things that again i grew up with with my grandma she passed it on to my mother my mother passed it on to me and look i'm trying as hard as i can okay but i'm not <laughs> as good as of a cook but it's so important to keep those flavors of your culture alive and yes. but you also do it with a healthy twist how on earth do you manage that you know what I do I love to work out and this is something that I do I've been also an instructor for mm -hmm. D2G Soka Fit okay and we'll be down there at the Cinco de Mayo also at 1 30 so if you want to come down and burn off those calories hey that sounds like a plan yes yeah. okay so I do and I and I teach I'm an instructor and I try to you know maintain a healthy diet because I love to cook and I love to eat and I love to put it out so. it, and it looks wonderful you've brought this beautiful spread and by the way yes you can see Lindita this weekend at the Cinco de Mayo Festival it's Saturday and Sunday at Civic Center Park. Okay, how long have you been making Linditas salsas though? Because I know that's you know, another thing you do. We go back, we go back quite a few <laughs> years. You know, I, you know, I something I did when um, my kids went back to school when sure. you know, they were little. I thought I'd start my company, and it's uh, instant salsa mixes. I think you have a little couple bags here. There they are. All yeah. you do is just add tomatoes. It's all na oh, there you go. All natural, no preservatives, no sodium. Okay. And I wanted to. I developed this for my mom that had high okay. blood pressure and was diabetic and I wanted to give something back to her mm, and how it's rewarded so me wonderful. you know Diosito has a way of just you know things just come and they happen and yes. so now and so we are available at at Nick's Garden Center too there as a matter of fact they are ready for the spring and they look, are for the they Mother's are Day, blooming they brought us some beautiful flowers here and they do such a good job so you can also pick up Lindita's I Nick's, love it well Nick's you've brought a beautiful Center. spread tell us what you've brought and we are gonna do some cooking I'm gonna grab um, this apron and show me what we're making and what we have here Lindita well you know what of course you've got Lindita's salsa with my wonderful chips over there uh -huh. and so so we've, I made some uh, lime rice, and this goes really well with this recipe, uh, tilapia ceviche. Oh, and, that's uh, It's yummy. so easy because all you do is you cook up, this is two pounds of the tilapia. Okay. And you dice it up, and you just add your lime. It's about a cup of lime juice. You've and you got to have yeah, that Yeah, you have it yeah. on there, marinate it. Then you drain it, and you can also go, like, to my uh, Lindita's Kitchen, a lot of my recipes on my website. Okay. So you can get that yeah, there. Yeah, you can you get that make step it. by yeah. step on what you need to do. This is perfect you know, for the holiday. Of, oh, yeah. Okay, so show me how we make it. So, no, I've got here, you've got your tilapia. Uh huh. So we're going to add a half of watering. onion. I know. Okay. Really nice and diced. Half of onion, nice yes. and diced. Okay. Yes. That goes in the mix. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. un sirano, sirano pepper. Sirano peppers. Of course, you need the seeds. You want to take all the seeds out. Okay. You know, yes. you want to take all the seeds you out. You want to take all the seeds out, trust me. You'll be on okay. fire if you don't. Yes. Okay. And then, of course, I have a <laughs> cucumber. Cucumber nice. is just okay. Finely sweet. chopped refreshing. Cucumber. Yeah. Yes. Love and then, it. of course, your tomato. One mm -hmm. tomato, and it's you take the seeds out, and you just peel around the tomato. Okay. You cut around it cut and around take it. out the seeds. And then Perfect. you dice it. And Diced it, goes in the mix. Oh, these flavors oh, yes. are already smelling wonderful. I know. Uh -huh. And all you do is just add now. Your fresh cilantro. cilantro. You gotta have because it. Because it can't be Cinco de Mayo without a little cilantro, no. everyone. Okay, is not. this ready to be mixed? Yeah, you mix it up and we're mm -hmm. gonna pinch a little pimienta, a little pimienta, a little and bit of salt. salt. Okay. 
sun. Yum. And it doesn't need that much because of the lime. You know, it has a lot of salt in it. I am one of those people that I have to have lime. When I was pregnant with both my girls, I went through so many limes and people looked at me like I was weird, but that was my craving. Okay, and then this just goes on a tostada. You can eat yes. it with pretty much anything. And you know what? Uh, this is something that we talked about earlier. You mm -hmm. know, you can use a mayonnaise okay. also for the... Here, you're going to do that Okay, for yeah. I'm going to put some... Oh, we've got 30 seconds. Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, this is... Yeah. Something that I would definitely eat even on a daily basis. You guys can make this at home because it's super easy too. Right. Lindita, how can viewers find you? You can go right to linditasalsa.com. Okay. Of course. And then again, for all these recipes, you know, ceviche. All right, before uh, before we have to go, let's do a Cinco de Mayo toast to your right. ceviche and to all the incredible things that you have done and for being on the show with us today. Cheers. All right, cheers. Woohoo. Have a Dita Rita. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is a one good t margarita. Ooh, what's wrong, <laughs> Lindita? What are you doing to me? Oh, okay, you everyone. <laughs> you can get your Lindita Salsa's recipes and find her cookie show, Lindita's Kitchen, online at linditasalsa.com. You can also see Lindita perform live at the Cinco de Mayo Festival in Civic Center Park, May 7th and May 8th. That's Saturday and Sunday. Details at Cinco de Mayo, Denver.